Hey crafty peeps, it's time for some farmhouse DIYs, so let's just get right into them. My sister sent me this sign and I was like, that is perfect because I often feel weird saying farmhouse when I just have like a regular house in the suburbs. And so I love that it said farmhouse ish. <laughs> so I wanted to make one of those signs for myself. So I'm using this beware sign from Halloween. They have these signs year round, typically something of this length. And I'm just going to take some of the Dollar Tree wrapping paper and this is going to finish off the back. Um, I really want this to have a finished back, even though it'll be on the wall. It'll cover that glitter part. And this is a new um, technique I learned. I shouldn't say technique I learned, it's technique I accidentally came across doing this. I made the paper bigger than the sign and then what it does is when you're painting, it also serves as a way um, to not get paint on your surface, on your desk or wherever you're working. So it was like this win-win situation. So I'm just going to cover this sign with the Rust-Oleum chalk paint and linen. But first, I'm just going to use a little bit of this wood filler to fill these holes here. I don't want to have holes in my sign. And once I am done painting, I will go ahead and cut this excess paper off. Let it all out the window. No smoke in my eyes. I can hear the wind chime. I then cut out the vinyl on my Cricut. The farmhouse is in the font Bailey that I got off defont.com and I will link that below. And I forgot the um, font I used for Ish, but it's just a basic font that will come on your Cricut. And I'm just going to lay that down onto my sign. You can definitely use the windmill from Dollar Tree. I just happened to have this other that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was actually a Christmas ornament that I got on sale, and I believe it was $2 on sale. So a little more expensive than Dollar Tree, but I like how it was already had that rustic look. I'm just gonna use some E6000 to put that down. I know that typically with metal, hot glue doesn't stick as well, so you're definitely gonna wanna use a different kind of adhesive if you want it to not pop off. And that's it here. I'm just going to use my sanding block to rustic it up a little bit and that is it. The sign is complete and it just was so easy and so cute. This is a sign here that I saw on a Kohl's ad and I wanted to recreate it for myself but I put my own spin on it. So I grabbed this 8x10 frame from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and take the backing off. And I'm going to use some of these new stickers they have that I'm loving. Again, I used my Cricut and I came up with this saying, our door is always open. For the R, our <laughs> is always, I used the font Gabriola. And for the door and open, I used the font Cream Candy. Again, I will link those below as well. And I'm just going to put it right here on the glass. And it just 
I just thought it like made the cutest. It's like a window door is what I was seeing that in the inspiration. And I just liked this darker wood, but you could totally paint it white or any color if you like that too. I just think this frame is so high in for Dollar Tree. I was um, really pleased to find these. And they come in the 4x6 as well. And I don't want these little black pieces showing, so I go ahead and I remove them. And then I'm just going to use some hot glue to adhere the window, um, the glass, down to the frame. I'm going to use some of the stickers out of each of these packs. When I saw this one with the hinges, I knew exactly what project I was going to use it on because this inspiration has actually been um, on my to-do list for quite a while. So this, um, these stickers are just absolutely perfect. And then I'm going to use the little um, keyhole here and then the strap from the one that looks kind of like a suitcase. And I realize it does look more like a suitcase handle, but I liked um, just how it was set up. I just thought it looked really neat. And that's it for this project super fast and something a little different. Have you guys been finding these new items in your Dollar Tree yet? Um, Dollar Tree does have it posted that all of their stores will have expanded crafter squares. So if you aren't seeing them yet, hang tight, they're coming. This project is so easy. I feel like I can hardly call it a DIY. But I picked up this tobacco basket um, from Target dollar spot for $3 and then this shelf is from Dollar Tree so for $1 so this whole project cost me $4 and I just found that it fit perfectly in the bottom of this basket and I'm just going to use some E6000 and um, some hot glue for instant adherence and this is actually a really sturdy shelf and it just makes the cutest thing to decorate and add to your decor. The hardest part of this is holding it in one hand and gluing it in the other. So if you have some help, another set of hands is not the worst thing. <laughs> but I'm just trying to find the contact points between um, the shelf and the basket. And so the one nice thing about working with E6000 is you have room to wiggle around um, because it isn't an immediate um, adhesive. And then once I get that kind of down, I'm just kind of searching around again. You'll see me just kind of looking and, and finding another point of contact. And the one nice thing about the hot glue is I can kind of, as you see here, just kind of shove it up in there and do a lot. And it just gives it that really good um, adhered. And that is it, you guys. That is all for that project. But look how cute it is on the wall and decorated. It just, I love how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed these three super simple DIYs today and that you'll join me next time. If you would like to join me next time, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Also, come find me on Instagram. I will be posting a big giveaway soon. And so my name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.